गुड मर्णिंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू शिक्षा संयोग अनलाइन टीचिंग लर्णिंग प्रोग्राम अफ नुआपड़ा डिस्ट्रिक्ट टूडे उल डील उथ ए नि चैप्टर ए नि पोएम न्यूली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन आवार बुक्स स्किल्स अफ कम्युनिकेटिव इंग्लीश फर क्लास टेन्थ एंड दि नेम अफ दि पोएम इज the solitary reaper the poem was composed by one of the romantic english poet william wordsworth he was born on 7th april 1770 and died on 23rd april 1850 at the age of 80 years old dear students william wordsworth was a worshipper of nature love of nature is a major thing in his poems for william wordsworth the poetry poetry is the spontaneous overflow of the powerful feeling of a poet william wordsworth is known as the romantic poet in english literature and he is called as the pioneer of romantic age in english literature literature dear students he wrote so many poems so many famous poems and most of the poems are the diphodils the prelude we are seven london 1802 early spring odi to duty and much more the poem the solitary reaper is also his best creation okay students about the poem about the poem the solitary reaper this poem is a ballads so student what is ballads ballads is a long story written in a form of a poem ballads flows according to the mood of the poets it has no definite lines and this poem was composed on 1805 and published in 1807 so students this poem this poem was took place in scotland this poem the solitary reaper was took place in scotland scotland is divided into two parts one is highland or high area high area which is called as highland and another is lower area which is called as lowland so one day what happened the poet was on evening walk he was going towards the hill side at that time he saw a girl in her field the girl was cutting or reaping grains while reaping grains the girl was also singing a bar, singing a song and the poet was very much attracted by the tone of the po- uh, songs the poet could not understand the theme of the poems although he could not understand he enjoyed the song very much and what happened 
we shall discuss in our text the solitary river so students before discussion you see your book page 19 the solitary river first of all you have to number the stanzas 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and you have to number them actually here there are eight stanzas but actually there are four stanzas in this poem and we shall discuss first of all you read silently so students the first stanza of the poem from line 1 to 8 behold her single in the field young solitary highland lass reaping and singing by herself stop here or gently pass alone she cuts and binds the grain and sings a melancholy strains o listen for the well profound is overflowing with the sound so students it is very easy to understand the poem here you see behold behold means behold means look or to see single single means one person young young means over there over there solitary solitary means one alone or single one person highland lass highland lass means a girl a girl who lives in the highland of scotland lass means girl reaping and singing by herself reaping means cutting then melancholy strains melancholy strain means sad song bhel bhel means valley profound profound means deep so students what happened you know the first stanza of the poem is about the highland lass the activities of the highland lass here the poet calls the travelers behold her who is her represent here her means the solitary highland lass here her is for the solitary highland lass behold her look at the girl single in the field she is one alone in the field and she is a highland girl what is she doing she is reaping and singing herself so the poet wants to not disturb the girls so he calls the travelers stop here don't disturb the girl or if you do not stop here go gently or pass gently from here alone she cuts and binds the grain the girl was all alone and she was cutting the grains and binding them and she was singing a melancholy strain melancholy strain means sad song the girl was singing a sad song and the sad song the melodious sad song profound the whole valley the poet was very much attracted by the melodious song of the girl and the song overflow in the valley in the valley the valley was profound with the song of the girl students the second stanza of the poem line from 9 to 16 no time no nightingale did ever chant more welcome notes to weary winds of travelers in some sadly haunt among arabian sands a voice of thrilling never was heard in springtime from the cuckoo bird breaking the silence of the seas among the farthest hybrids so students there are some difficult words and here the meanings of the words and you will find it in your glossary also so here you see the poet described two words in the second stanza the poet described two 
birds, singing birds. What are the two singing birds? You see, can anyone say what are the two singing birds? One is nightingale, another is cuckoo birds. These are two singing birds. Students, where do we see nightingale? We can see nightingales in the Arabian desert. In the Arabian desert, Arabian sand. Arabian sand means desert of Arab, Arabia. You can see the nightingale in Arabian sands. Nightingale also finds in our country also. <coughs> and what happens? The travelers, tra travelers, while traveling in the Arab desert, they take they take rest near the Sadihan. Sadihan means oasis. Sadihan means oasis. A place in desert with water and trees where the tired traveler take rest. The nightingale's songs attracted the travelers, the travelers of the Arabian desert. The songs of the nightingale attracted the tired travelers of the Arabian sand. Similarly, according to the poem, what do we see? Cuckoo bird. What do you see? Cuckoo bird. According to this poem, cuckoo bird. We can see the cuckoo birds in the farthest hybrids. According to this stanza, we can find or we can see the cuckoo bird in farthest hybrids. The birds break the silence of the seas among the farthest hybrids. The tone of the cuckoo bird, the melodious song of the cuckoo birds break the silence of the farthest hybrids. Like this, the voice of the the voice of the solitary reaper, the voice of the girl thrills the heart of the poet. The poet hears the songs. Which lines of the poem say that the poet was attracted by the song of the girls? You see, in which line tells that the poet was attracted by the song of the girls? Here you see, a voice of thrilling never was heard. This line tells that the, girl, the poet was very much attracted by the melodious song of the girl. Okay students, the third stanza of the poem, line from 17 to 24, will no one tell me what she sings, perhaps the plenty numbers flow, for old unhappy far off things and battles long ago, or is it some more humbly familiar matter of today, some natural sorrow, loss or pain that has been and may be again. So, dear students, in this stanza, the poet tried to guess the subject matter of the girl songs, the theme of the girl songs, songs, but he cannot understand the theme of the girl songs, cannot guess the theme. So, he asked the co-travelers, he asked the co-travelers, can, can anyone tell him the subject matter of the girl songs? And then he himself, then he himself guess, and he says, perhaps, perhaps the sad songs. Here, plaintive numbers means sad music. Perhaps the sad music of the girl, the sad music of the girl is for the old unhappy events that took place in the past, or the plaintive numbers may be the sorrowful event that took place in the battle long ago or is it some more humble lay humble lay means ordinary songs then the poet guesses that the song of the girl is 
humble name is ordinary songs and the ordinary songs is about a familiar matter of day to day life and it may be the song of natural sorrow loss or pain whether the family god's family have lost something and then he says the incident took place but sorry the events took place or maybe take place again so this is the third stanza so students what does the poet guess in the third stanza the poet guesses the theme of the poem what meant by the word plaintive numbers what is the meaning of the phrase plaintive numbers here plaintive numbers means sad music and what do you mean by humble humble means ordinary songs <coughs> what are the plaintive numbers about what are the plaintive numbers about plaintive numbers are about the unhappy things happens in the past so students next what does the poet guess about the theme of the reaper songs the poet guesses that the theme of the reaper songs is about some old unhappy events took place in the distant past next or is it some more humbly what does the phrase means what does the phrase means here this phrase means incident happened or the incident which have happened or may be happened in near future the song may be about the ordinary things or ordinary incidents and what does humbly refer to humbly refer to ordinary songs and some natural sorrow what does some natural sorrow refers to some natural sorrow refers to the incident happened or the incident which have happened or may be happened in near future the last stanza of the poem from line 25 to 32 whatever the theme the maiden song as if her song could have no ending i saw her singing at her work and over the sickle bending i listened motionless and still and as i mounted up the hill the music in my heart i bore long after it was heard no more so students the poet tried his best to guess the theme of the girl songs the reaper songs but he could not so at last he says the matter of the song the theme of the songs whatever it may be the song has no ending the song of the girls continues and it has no ending so student what does the song seem to have to the poet what does the song seem to have to the poet so the the song seem to have no ending the song seem to have no ending no ending means it has no end it continues next what do you mean by sickle what do you mean by sickle sickle is a tool used for cutting grain sickle is a tool and it is used for cutting grains or uh, grass so student how does the poet how does the poet wordsworth listen to the music of the girls how does the poet wordsworth listen to the music of the girls you see the poet listen to the the poet listen to the girl songs motionless and still motionless means without movement still means standing at a place the poet listened the girl songs 
motionless and still where did the poet mount up where did the poet mount up and as i mounted up the hill so student what did the poet mount up the answer will be the poet mounted up to the hill side to the hill the poet mounted up to the hill <clears throat> what did the poet bear in his heart what did the poet bear in his heart the poet the poet, the poet bore the music of the maiden songs the poet bore the music of the maiden songs and mounted of the hill side when was the music heard no more when was the music heard no more you see the music the music was heard no more long after or it means long after the music was heard no more so students this is all about the poem the solitary reapers and thank you students have a good day